It's an extraordinary thing to say, but one of my absolute happiest family memories was the week that my mum was dying. My sister and my brother and my cousin and I and lots of people, we sat around the bed and we just laughed. We told stories about her and to her and re remembered stuff. My sister was a district nurse and, and we were able to arrange for my mum to be at home rather than in the hospital, which was incredibly helpful. And her breathing was slowing. And my sister literally got a stethoscope out, listened. And then she ran out of the room. My dad was in the shower and he's deaf as a post. And she was banging on the door saying, Dad, come now. And And then she died in front of us. And it was, it's literally awful, that's what it is. In every sense, it's incredible. It's, it's the biggest thing you can possibly imagine. And then the kind of moments afterwards, I just remember going outside and sitting on the front doorstep, just going, And then, uh, tragically, uh, my sister, who had uh, nursed my mum so brilliantly, on a Sunday she rang me up and said, I've, I've found a lump in my breast and it's, it's very serious. We were arranging Christmas and um, my brother Philip had mentioned this Christmas plans to uh, one of Jill's friends who's also a nurse. And she said, no, Philip, she won't be here. And I remember that, I was like being hit by a truck. It was just the, it was just the sort of certain, quite brutal fact of it. She just went completely downhill. On Sunday evening, she was taken to hospital and my brother was there and he rang me at four o'clock in the morning and said, she's gone. It just seems so completely unfair that it was happening again so soon. But that's, that's the truth of it. One in two of us will get cancer in our lifetime. Help us fight back. To give 20 or 10 pounds, text 20 or 10 to 70404. Or to donate online, Go to channel4.com forward slash SU2C. 100% of the money you give will fund life-saving cancer research.